building the Harbor Freight Windsor Wooden Workbench. William Hovey Smith, 2016. I'm the author of Backyard Deer Hunting, and for decades I have been using knives. And now I have a new company, Hovey's Knives of China, that builds them. And this new workbench will let me work on these knives. The graveyard shift has started another batch of charcoal going in the cooker. And we are going to resume our work assembling our workshop table. I have completed three of four drawers of the Windsor workbench here. And the reason I tackled the drawers first is to get rid of all of these small components. The front of the drawer, I already put the handle on and gave it a coat of polyurethane before. So we can just lay it out here. These are the side rails here. Obviously this groove contains the bottom of the drawer, which is here. And it's nicely felted. Uh, this has a little kick up on this end, no matter because the rear panel will go right there. So that'll be taken care of. We just index this in these grooves, like here. And they go in very, very nicely. And we take our first panel, side panel, here and do likewise. The critical thing is to get everything fit into the grooves flush and at right angles. All right. And you want to bring the wood components here absolutely flush and as close to being a right angle as you can possibly hold. Then take drill, make sure it's rotating in the right direction, and screws provided, and start your first two screws. It is very critical to make sure you hold these as tightly as you possibly can. Okay. All right. Do the same here. And now the drawer is starting to become very stable indeed. You have just this one more edge to true up everything, kick in, so everything is solid. All right, that looks good. Now that pulled in very, very nicely. Now don't overdo it here in the end or you'll strip all your wood threads and you don't want to do that. Okay, I see I made a mistake. I put the drawer in with the holes the wrong way. The hole should have been here. Okay, now I have to pre-drill some holes here through the press board but no big problem and go ahead and sight these other screws and then I'll go ahead and paint this entire surface. So here we've done our new hole, and we've kind of sunk with a quarter inch bit, but there'll be plenty of clearance in the bottom of this drawer, so that's really uh, just a little added refinement there. Okay, all right, and do the other two likewise, and we got all the screws in. Now. Everybody knows how to paint, so I don't show you how to paint. Uh, we have a paintbrush. This is our little uh, polyurethane here. Painting will certainly do no harm, and I think will tremendously help the longevity of this particular workbench. The next piece of assembled components are actually to put the base unit together which includes this bottom shelf 
and its support front and back. There are long screws that come in from the outside and go into these two holes here. And we're going to position them as best we can and try to keep them lined up so we have the table level. Fortunately, these holes are already drilled, so that should help the indexing considerably. The way these assemblies work is actually a little better than I anticipated. These are actually nuts and bolts. You can see the threads here and this prominent screw slot. These are placed in these round holes like yay and held with a screwdriver and then the bolt put in from the other side indexed and turned. So uh, this way you can put it together a little loose to start with and then tighten everything up. Uh, that makes the assembly much, much easier than trying to deal with wood screws. Uh, here we go with an exercise that probably will be called fumble fingers, but okay. And we index our nut there. We'll line them up as best we can. Okay. Okay, finally we have both of them caught now and we'll go do the other side. Now that we have installed this slotted back brace here, we can then put in this panel and then put in the front brace and that will support this shelf which is on the bottom. Now thus far everything is looking good. Uh, everything that says front is pointed front, so that's good. I'm going to paint these edges of this press board before we actually install it and then we will slide it in the slot here and fix this and that will have this bottom shelf in. Now we have the same nuts, bolts and screws as the other design so we see if we can find an index one and get everything tightened up a little bit. Alright. Now the challenge here is that this one is from the underside. There it is. So that's tightening. Good. All right. Find another pair. Feel is good, but eyes on the fingers would be wonderful. Okay. That one's in. So now we go to the other side. We are now progressing along. The bottom shelf is in now, and the next thing to be attached are these guides, and this is of course for the four drawers, and goes on the bottom of the top, and there are little pegs here to index them, and also a front and rear, so you will hopefully put them in the straight way. And then we also have our wood vise attachment to install as well as the top to affix itself. But the first thing I'm going to do is to put a coat of polyurethane all on this surface because we're going to cover it up shortly. We have four screws down the side to shoot in. And then that will be this. Before I leave though, these holes through the top 
going to fit these pins like this and they are useful however they do allow any debris on the surface to drop into the top drawers like dust and anything else consequently uh, you might want to find some corks if you can still find such a thing and go ahead and plug these holes if you're not going to use them very often as I surely won't and I suspect most people won't either we now have the drawer guides installed and we're going to lay the top on. Now these also help index the top and keep it from shifting this way. And as we have been doing, we're going to paint the surface first and then lay it on. Things gonna fit, guys. This needs to go close. Close this way. All right. That felt like it's supposed to. Still free to move. It's still free to move in this direction, but we're going to tie it down with the other stuff now. What really holds the bench together are these six screws. Now these holes are pre-drilled, so I use the small nail just to wiggle around and make sure I had them lined up because they're not flush with quite anything and this makes sure that yeah you're actually putting these screws in the right place we are getting down to the very few miscellaneous parts indeed there are two screws that go here on this plate to help anchor these two assemblies together besides the three longer screws coming in from this way to tie the top of the table to the base. So that this scab plate, in effect, also adds some reinforcement to keep them from pulling apart. And this piece is your drawer stop, the back of it. There are two holes here, boop, boop, pre-sided. There's a little groove here in the middle, and then two holes on the other side, and then that hopefully will stabilize the entire structure. And well, actually, it is pretty stable. So we'll get these shot in. Except for actually sliding in the drawers, these are the last two screws to be put in. polyurethane is dry enough for me to handle it now and the only thing I don't like about anything I see and the only thing missing is in this tray right here this member is long enough that it has some flex in the middle here so what I'm going to do is to cut this piece of one by and make a cross brace right here and put a couple of good wood screws in it and so that'll stabilize us completely. So we're going to do that and make our own little user modification.
and incidentally, the first use of the workbench itself. Yeah, that little vice works very well. And that's exactly the use it's intended for, although, of course, the other way around. Now, let's see how I measured it. Okay. I just salvaged a couple of screws from this box. We're going to drill some pilot holes. Count of sink for heads. Here goes our stabilization screw. Two. And two on the other side, and we'll be good. I actually unpacked the workbench and did a video about making a crossbow target from old boxes and salvage materials as its first official use. Now, this is a logo of my new company, Hobie's Knives of China, and here are the few of the patterns that we're going to be producing. Now, these are now available. I am the author of Backyard Deer Hunting, as well as Crossbow Hunting, Extreme Muzzleloading, and Practical Bow Fishing. And most of these titles are basic how-to titles, except for Extreme Muzzleloading, which gets pretty seriously into advanced muzzleloading. I'm also the author of a new series of business books under the Profit brand. The first of these is Ideas for New Businesses on How to Start Your Own Million, a Billion Dollar Business. And here is a blurb about me and about the book. Besides being much more elegant than the two boxes that I was using and giving me extra space, yeah, I really like this workbench. Now I'm going to use sub-assemblies to mount things like grinders on the surface so I don't drill holes in the bench. For more information on my books, blogs, and 525 videos, you can go to my website, www.hoviesmith.com. And here is an address for my online knife catalog. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye and God bless.